Ooh. Good morning. Oh man, I've been dealing with this um this neck and this neck issue. And I said a prayer last night in church. I'm listening to prayer right now. Oh Lord, I lift up today in your name. Bless all the people watching and uh, bless me, Lord. And to touch my neck with your loving embrace, reach down from heaven with your hand and touch my neck and heal it. I don't know if I slipped on it wrong or what, but it hurts. I think it's for three days. I just woke up. So what I do when I wake up, it's was it 9.25 a.m. So what I do is um, I uh, I'll pull this up here and um, there's a picture of me in the Coast Guard. So I like to read the Bible when I wake up and I'm in chapter 26 of Deuteronomy. And I'll read you the first verse um, before I uh, do my thing because I I'll do it. I'm gonna do it off camera because I like to have that one-on-one -on -one time, you know. But um, concerning the worship of God by offering some of the first of all the fruit of the good land and entering and possessing it as inheritance. Okay, so first verse: And when you enter the land which Jehovah your God is giving you as inheritance and you possess it and dwell in it you shall take some of the first fruit so i guess the first fruit that ripens uh, from your crop in your new land of the ground which you shall bring from the land which jehovah your god is giving you and you should put it in a basket and go to a place where jehovah your god will choose you to cause his name to dwell and you should go to the priest who is serving in those days and say to him, I declare to Jehovah your God today that I've entered the land which Jehovah swore to our fathers to give us. And the priest shall take the basket from your hand and place it before the altar of Jehovah. And you shall respond and say before Jehovah your God, a perishing Aramean was my father. And he went down to Egypt and sojourned there, few in number, and he became there a great and mighty and numerous nation. And the Egyptians ill-treated us and, aff and afflicted us and put hard work upon us. But we cried out to Jehovah, the God of our fathers, and Jehovah heard our voice and saw our affliction and our labor and our possession. And Jehovah brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm and a great terror and by signs and wonders and he brought us to a place he has given us this this land a land flowing with milk and honey and now i have just brought the first of the fruit of the ground which you o jehovah have given me and you shall place it before jehovah your god and bow down before jehovah your god and you and the Levite and the sojourner in your midst, so Jews, uh, normal people, even Egyptians, um, shall rejoice in all the good which Jehovah your God has given you and to your household. So that, that, that's not motivation, I don't know what is. So I'm gonna get into this, I got a little bit more to read. And I know you wanna read it, so go to Deuteronomy 26. Um, but Drew's day two, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna get a workout in. Um, I don't know with who yet, I'm thinking Big Rob. It's been a while since I worked out with him. Um, and uh, today's Friday, so we're gonna get into some stuff. All right, here we go, I'm excited. Okay, so I was uh, on Facebook trying to figure out how to monetize um, my videos and I was like gonna shit my pants and uh, Cali Muscle just gave me a call and explained to me I'm 300 shy of 10,000 followers and uh, man I was getting so frustrated but um, thank you Cali I really appreciate it so now that that is handled thank God I am wearing the same t-shirt as I was wearing last night 
So high feet, I sleep in it, I live in it. I'm gonna go work out in it too. So I, uh, look, I don't have any food. And let me turn up this uh, brightness setting. So as you can see, there's no food in here. Um, yeah, so I need to go to the store and get some food. Uh, I just texted Big Rob for a workout tonight. Um, I'm, I, uh, I hope I hope he uh, texts me back soon because it's gonna be a good one. And um, it's always fun to train with people. So we're gonna go to the store. We're gonna go get some food. Uh, but I'll probably get some food um, while I'm doing this because I'm starving. I'm hungry. It's uh, it's 11:20. Uh, I was up till 1 a.m. last night ending this video. So. Here's the new goal, 10,000 followers on Facebook. Let's get this monetized. Uh, here we go, baby. Drew's day two. Guys, uh, before I go get this food, there's two people I texted trying to figure out how to monetize my Facebook. One was Cali Muscle, and one was Arash Babu. Arash literally just texted me back uh, saying, hell yeah, what page? And I told him, um, Psycho Drew, I think it won't monetize because I only have 9,700 followers. Um, Cali Muscle just gave me a call. I texted him and you. So those two guys are some of my best friends and they both have millions of followers on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and and look at me over here with uh, you know 9,700 followers. <laughs> and um, they're calling me, they're texting me back so um, my point is find some really good friends surround yourself with them uh, preferably that are holy and believe in God and uh, and you'll be blessed so thank you God for Rosh Babu and thank you for Cali Muscle uh, two, two of my best friends so Big Rob you're one of my best friends too but uh, I'll be working out with you tonight so alright time to go get some food because I'm gonna hungry all right, so before I get this food, I'm gonna get ready, and uh, I don't know if I told any of you guys this, and it hasn't really affected me too much now, and um, whoever you know did this, may they, uh, I hope they benefited from it in some way, but I had a bunch of camera equipment stolen from me, and uh, um, microphones stolen from me, and uh, so, Long story short, I got a new camera and some new mics. And um, this is one of the mics that I got. I also got a Sennheiser mic. And uh, uh, the Sennheiser wasn't working, so I sent it in for repair. This one's not working, so I'm sending it for repair. Uh, this is a Rode mic, and they're so cool that uh, they're um, they're gonna fix it for free. So that's cool. So just wanna let you guys know that. Um, if you have anything that's not working, contact the manufacturer and uh, you know maybe they'll hook it up so I'm gonna ship this out before I go get this food I, I'm still hungry and it's it's almost 12 now but I want to make sure that um, I handle this before I go because I got the guy the post office guy to come soon and so I'm just gonna stick this in here like that you can see this is a Rode microphone, um, and they're gonna hook it up. They're gonna fix it for free. So, shout out the Rode. I support the Rode microphones. I'm using a Rode microphone right now. Hopefully, they fix this one and it works and it's better um, than the one that I'm using now. But the one I'm using is not bad. So, I I like to use Ship Station when I ship stuff instead of going to the post office. So the Rode microphone place is in Signal Hill, which is pretty cool. And hopefully it scans when, uh, yeah, it's, the tape was a little bent. Oh man, come on tape. All right, well, if it doesn't scan, they'll always, uh, you know, they'll just type in the number, so. All right. That's done. Let's go get some food. All right. So here we are. 
We're in the van now. Um, so, this is for my dad and my brother. They got some things. So, uh, Big Rob is a little busy tonight. So, we're going to have to do the workout on our own. But that's okay. Ah. So, we'll see what happens. I might try to sneak this, uh, this big camera into 24 Hour Fitness. I do have a little one. Um, but the lens is too uh, too close, so um, we'll uh, we'll see. So I'm probably gonna go get a workout right now. I was gonna work out tonight at seven, but um, since uh, he just texted me, I probably get a workout right now after I'm done eating. In here, if you're gonna blast AC, roll your windows down first because uh, the stuff that sits in the AC. It could cause cancer because it's been sitting and you start blowing it out. So at least give it like 10 seconds, 15 seconds to circulate first before you roll up the windows and start blasting the AC inside. You know what I'm saying? So we're in a little tight fit right here in my Sprinter van. Sprinter van diaries. It's, uh, what time is it? It's 12 p.m. I still have not eaten any food. Um, it's, it's a price you pay when you're a YouTuber, I guess, and Facebooker now, so, making the nice slow turns, so, sorry about that, guys, the one's behind me, um, so, I trained, what did I do, I trained legs and shoulders yesterday, so today I think I'm going to train, um, I did hit a little bit of chest, too. So today I'm thinking I'm going to train more chest. My neck's starting to feel better. Um, thank you, God. And uh, I'm probably going to do more incline chest. And then I'm probably going to do triceps, biceps, maybe some calves. And I like to end my workout with abs. Uh, so when I, when I train chest, I'll probably start off with um, incline. And uh, I start off with just the bar and just to get warmed up and then I'll, I'll just, I'll probably do like uh, four to six sets and uh, probably 15 reps each. And then as I go heavier, I'll go, uh, I'll, the reps will be um, smaller. So probably do like eight reps at the very end, something heavy. And then I'll probably go to a machine or I'll go to free weight, um, hit some chest, uh, another incline, so there will be another incline free or, uh, or uh, uh, machine, and then I'll probably do um, a machine push for just regular chest, and and then I'll do um, one or two machines for biceps, and then one or two machines or cables for triceps, and then um, a little bit of calves, and end it with abs. So we're gonna get our workout in quick today. Check this out. I'll show you where I'm at. We're on Slauson and La Brea. Right here. That's right. Slauson and La Brea. I'm gonna go. So we went to Chipotle last night. There's this really good place next to Chipotle called, it's not called Fishalicious, but that is a good place. It's like Signal Hill. This place is called California Fish Grill. And they have amazing fish. Um, I'm gonna get probably the Mai Mai um, fried Brussels sprouts. I got the asparagus last time. It was pretty good. And I'll get some white rice now, some carbs, because we're about to hit the gym. Um, I would do a home workout, but I'm, I'm saving up to buy a home. And uh, I actually had to get uh, rid of some of my workout equipment um, due to the fact that I was upstairs on the second uh, level and I have people below me and my apartment manager and I want everyone to be happy so if you're watching this um, Derek um, or neighbors or anyone thank you for letting me uh, have this amazing apartment and uh, I took the weights down and um, I have them in the back of my van now so and I, I brought them to my dad's house but I'm gonna go hit this gym right here. Boom, 24 hour fitness. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! 
I haven't taken any speed bumps, I haven't taken any speed bump recovery. Uh, I'm just going off natural energy. I'm pumped. Doing, uh, for some reason when I film myself, I get all excited and it gives me energy. So, let me put this camera down real quick because I gotta put my shades on. So I'm cool like that. You know I'm cool. Forgot to spike my hair, but whatever. And bam, bam. What do you think? Yeah. All right, we're here basically. So, oh hello. So this place is right next to Trader Joe's, and this is uh, the Westfield Mall. If you guys are wondering where I'm at, let's see here. Ooh, look at all these cars going crazy. Yeah. These people walking right here, they're probably wondering what's going on, why am I filming? Um, Trader Joe's, here's the fire truck, hopefully they don't see me holding the camera. The fish girl's right next to uh, the fire truck, so I'm going to get some food. And I'll probably go to Trader Joe's after and go shopping. Um, and Chipotle's here too, so you guys hungry? Because I am. Okay. Oh my god. 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 Mai Mai, oh yeah, Bro fried Brussels sprouts, rice. <laughs> You guys want to use this one? Yeah, I'm not using it. Yeah. Okay, so. I'm gonna go shopping at Trader Joe's here. Get some food, get some egg whites. See what I can get filmed. Just feel kind of weird holding this big old camera. I'm walking around talking to myself, you know? All right, just got a bunch of food, and no, oh, let's see, is this a dent on my sprinter van, or it's like some kind of like dent. <laughs> Hopefully not. So what I get, I got uh, what did I get? Egg whites. I got uh, everything, meat, everything you can imagine. So I have to go home, drop the food off, and then I'm gonna go to the gym. Filming yourself doing everything definitely adds time to whatever you're doing. If you're filming yourself, um, you know, it's it's just that much more you got to do. So it's as good, this is going to be good. I usually just film workout videos, but we're going to see what happens. I'm trying to get 300 followers on my 300 more followers so I can monetize my Facebook. Um, I would go work out right now without dropping the food off, but I am only wearing sandals, so if I'm going to be bringing this camera inside the gym, like you guys can't see how big the camera is, but it's big, uh, and it has a big microphone on it too, so at least on, I should, I should show it with some shoes. Usually I have shoes in, uh, in my van, but... I gotta drop the food off anyway, so I'm not really complaining too much. Today's so far so good. 1 p.m. 
So I think we need to try to start waking up earlier. That's, I think that's what would make the day that much better. So I've been waking up at nine. I think I need to start waking up at, at eight. And then after I wake up at eight, and then I'll start waking up at 7.30. Um, so tomorrow I'm gonna shoot the wake up at either eight or 8.30 p.m. Or 8.30 a.m., eight or 8.30 a.m. That's what time I'm gonna try to wake up tomorrow. I always get so excited when I drive by 24 Hour Fitness. You can see it's coming up. I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming of working out inside of you. 24 Hour Fitness. Please let it be so. There it goes. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. There it is. That's 24 hour fitness, bro. Oops. Oops. Oh, I gotta put this food away. Oh man, I'm literally gonna probably just throw it inside of my refrigerator. I don't even care. It's gym time, baby. That's whatever it takes. I don't stop. I'm not giving up. They're lucky I didn't wear my shoes. But that, that wouldn't have stopped me. But I'm doing the right thing, putting the food away. Come on, come on, come on. All right, so I just had to show you guys this. It says keep clear. Um, some people like to drive into the keep clear section and uh, they don't care. Like this guy right here. He's like, I just drive right in here. I've seen a lot worse. I've seen a lot worse, um, but n just so you guys know, when it says keep clear, it's it's probably because there's you know traffic coming and needs to go in and out, and uh, if you block it, then you're kind of being a jerk. So just pointing that out for you guys. Oh man, it is hot today. Oh, it's Day Volume 2. What it really happened, what really happened in this day. So, I just got done shopping and now I gotta put this stuff in my, my refrigerator. Okay. All right, uh, okay, so. This is how we're gonna do it. Whew. Ah. All right, I got a steak. I think I spent like $20 for brunch. And this was 147 bucks. So I got I'll show you what I got here. What's going on? I got carrot juice, um, orange juice, yogurt, kombucha. Uh, let me just make sure everything so you can see everything. What's going on? Uh, bananas, organic blueberries, organic blackberries. Fridge doesn't stay open. It's, I don't know what its problem is. Uh, apples. This is an old apple thrown away. Um, this orange might be pretty old, so I'm throwing it away. Um, got three dozen eggs. Ah, 
So if you think if I eat breakfast every day for a week, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, that's like a hundred dollars just for breakfast, and this is 147 bucks. And then now we got we got the freezer stuff. Uh, I got some nuts. Put that right here. I got some coconut water. Some more kombucha. This drink, it's green drink, it's good. Uh, salami. Uh, I keep the bags for trash. You know, I got some protein bars. Put that right over here. Uh, what else? I, I know I got some more food here somewhere. Yeah. So, uh, some more water. I got egg whites. Um, you know, Rich Piana's favorite. Salad. More frozen stuff. Uh, but bound or black pepper, another orange, and some yogurt. Uh, oh, and I got this salad too, Caesar salad. So, you know, probably could have uh, got a more bang for your buck at like Costco or something, but I like this food and it makes me feel good, you know, the kombucha. So, really all I kind of eat is the eggs. I'll probably, um, I should probably start eating some oatmeal soon, but let's go hit this gym. Look, that's the pre-workout. Just dissolves like that. I'll stir it a little bit, but. Mm. Made it myself, so you know it's good.
Okay, so that was a good workout. Um, I have focus on auto. I have ISO on auto, but I've noticed the ISO auto is not good. Um, or maybe I'm just too good with the camera settings. It, I don't know, I filmed half of the workout with the ISO auto and I filmed half without it. Um, and that ISO is basically, um, it's on ISO auto right now. So it basically makes it lighter when it's dark. Um, it's something that you don't really want to mess with. You want to keep it as low as possible all the time, but in the gym it wasn't turning up bright enough. But that was a workout. I snuck the camera in, no one said anything. Um, and I am hungry. And uh, doing these videos, it's, just, it's pumping me up. I hope it's pumping you guys up. I hope it's giving you guys motivation. Um, just a little bit of background about myself. Um, uh, I went to three different high schools, La Quinta, Huntington Beach, and uh, Dana Hills, and I ran track at all three. I did the Cathlon in college. I, I played water polo, played soccer, and this was all in high school and sports way before high school. So I have an athletic background, and, and it feels like I'm uh, kind of back in those days right now. So it's just something about training every single day that makes you feel good. And uh, I don't know, maybe it's the pre-workout too, but I'm gonna go get some food and I think I'm gonna go get a chicken. Um, I'm not trying to get, I guess I'm trying to get big. I'm not trying to get as big as Rich Piana, weight wise, uh, but follower wise, yeah. So follow, I'm trying to get 300 more followers guys. So follow so I can monetize uh, my Facebook. All right, what did I buy? I bought an entire chicken. Um, and I also bought some Gatorade. Uh, now I'm gonna go eat that. Hungry. Uh, uh, this chicken looks good. So I'm just gonna take a couple bites right now. Um, Well, wash my hands first, huh? All right. What a good workout. So, get some protein right before I hit the shower. And, oh, make you got it. Boom. Thank you for blessing me with this camera to film myself, for all my fans, everyone that supported the speed bumps. Hey Amen. Mm. So I'm probably gonna smash more of this stuff. Uh... Look at that. Mm. <clears throat> when I was in the Coast Guard, they used to tell me, you gotta sit down when you eat so the food can go to your stomach, unless it's gonna go straight to your feet. That's what the captain used to tell me. They also told me not to chew my dog in my mouth full. Anyone that's watching this, are you thinking about joining the military, Coast Guard, Air Force, Navy, Marines? Do it. Worth it. Four years right down. That's why I did I did a pro and a con list. So I wrote down the pros and the cons and I think something that mine went like. The con was, I had to work for the government. Um, you know, uh, they have, they could send me wherever they want for four years, okay? Uh, and then the pros, I was like, holy crap, free school, free food, free rent, money, um, I get out of debt, uh, free health insurance, and it's just like, when I actually wrote down the pros and the cons of joining the Coast Guard, 
that's when I realized, well, if we're doing it logically and looking it at the what I wrote down, there's like two or three cons, and then it's like work for the government, you know, um, they have you for four years. But the pro list was like, I'm like, I could go on for days. You're at the beach. You uh, you get to wear a uniform. You get to stare a boat. You get to go travel. It's I suggest doing it. I I would never take it back, and I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Mm. 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 So I'm gonna go shower up. And uh, get clean, you know? All right, so I just got out of the shower. I put the chicken in the fridge, um, eating a banana. I had to ship out the road mic and I got a couple bottles of pre-workout and uh, sometimes UPS gets kind of busy and they didn't come pick up the package. So I had to go run over to the post office really quick. Go ship this out. I got about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. But I'm leaving the camera here. Um, so once I get this camera guy or whatever, but I'm gonna take my Camry. I have another car, a little Toyota Camry. Well, I'm just gonna go do this really quick. Then I'll come back and I'm gonna hop on the computer and handle some business. And then I have a, a handstand tutorial with Mike Set, Michael Set. Um, at 5 p.m., 5 to 6 p.m., so let me go do this really quick. Well, I spoke a little too soon. They came and grabbed them and they left the box, so that's why I thought they didn't grab it. Um, USPS, shout out. If you guys ever need any um, mail picked up, just go to USPS.com. Schedule a uh, pickup, it's free. All right, so now I get to eat my chicken. And that's good. That's good. So this fork looks a little dirty. But there's nothing really we could do about it. Except for wash it again. And so I'm taking the whole chicken out because I'm going to eat the whole thing. Uh, I cut up the, the meat like so. It's a weird, this is a weird looking chicken, man. Upside down or something? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, so... I guess it was upside down. I'm not gonna eat the stuff that's underneath it. Um... I'm only gonna eat this chicken breast. Because... That's just what I want to eat, okay? Get a problem. And it's way too hot to have my shirt on. So here we go. Chicken breast. Oh yeah, look at that. So chop it up, a little action here. Mm -hmm. So I got an email on my Stripe. That's the, the thing that's connected to my website. And um, they're claiming, I think it's a scam, some scam email. It's like, you need to log in and verify your account. Someone's disputing $2,000, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, how do I get a hold of Stripe? I'm trying to call them. They, there's no phone number. They said it at 24 hour phone support. I don't see any phone number. So if you're watching this strike, it's the credit card processing service. Um, you know, like, don't say you have 24 hour phone service when you don't, because I looked, there's no phone number. I emailed you guys, that's what the number is, and I'm still waiting. And, you know, it wouldn't hurt to put a phone number there. If you're really bad against talking to people, then say you don't have a phone number. If you say you have a phone number and there's none, 
like now I don't know if it's a if Stripe scamming me or who's scamming me. It seems like a big scam and I need to get to the bottom of this. So that's what I gotta do on my computer right now. Figure this out because two thousand dollars is a lot of money. And uh, if you guys are watching this, and if anyone scams people like that, like I'll pray for you because it's gonna come back and get you. That's just—it's not cool to do that and rob, steal, scam. Like for example, buy something on a credit card and say, "I never bought it," and spend like two thousand dollars. You know, it's not cool. It's not cool, but whatever. I'm gonna figure it out. But I'm more stoked about this chicken. Oh yeah. That's some good chicken. So what I got, I got my coconut water. I bought some Gatorades. So let's let's hop on the, the computer and see what's going on with this. Boom! Boom! I don't know who, but you scammers lost. Cause I won. You're not taking my money. No way. So go scam your your freaking yourself into the grave and burn in hell. May God have mercy. All right. So my buddy Mike Sepp is coming. We're gonna go do a handstand. <laughs> Handstand tutorial, and uh, you, know, you know how we do it. <laughs> Took you long enough to get here. What's up, man? I got some good ass, uh, um, like, uh, I have some good ass ideas for this this quick little intro. For Drew's day? It'll, or? Just, it'll just take like 20 minutes, and then uh, if, you, if you edit it, it'll be really fast. So let's. Yeah, let's take our shirt off. Video, dude. Yeah, it's gonna hey, be go, great. I'm filming a video right now. Wear the same fucking shorts as the okay. video, the tan shorts, because it'll look what weird. Tan That's why I wore the same thing, because it's the same video. You wore the uh, same. Thing. Shoot, tan shorts. Okay. Yeah, All right, here. Let me fix here. My here. Um, hold the camera. I'm gonna go get the tan shorts. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, guys? So I'm here with Drew today. We're trying to make a fun, cool little video. Random clips of some handstands. You know, some tips and things like that to kind of better your handstand that you already have right now. And uh, the video is gonna be pretty cool. You know, random clips. Um, you know, I'm gonna be telling you guys constantly to be pushing nice and tall for the handstand because that's like really important. Now we got Drew over here. Yeah. So if you guys are watching this and you can comment how many times we say push nice and tall in this video, the first one that gets it right will get a free pre-workout, especially yeah, guys, delivered so by me. Comment down below how many times you say push nice and tall and uh, you guys you know, will get an awesome supplement from Drew. And then we're not saying push nice and tall because it's just like funny. It's actually when you're watching the video you want to push and you want to be fully extended so nice and tall. So it's very important. So. That's why we, you know, say it a couple times. Exactly, so you guys. guys exactly. What we really mean. So I, we want you guys to get used to it in the handstand to be pushing nice and tall and to just really ingrain that in your head. That's mm -hmm. all, you know. Cool video. Yeah. Um, okay, let me think. All right. The, hold well, on, I hope the you guys. Thing. And then. Uh, First one to come. Okay, hope you guys. So that's kind of just how we like the handstand. You know, I like it like that. I like it like that too. Yeah, and I hope you guys enjoy this film. Yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Ah! <laughs> okay, we might not use that. <laughs> so, me and Mike Sepp here, we just got done with this badass handstand tutorial. Um, I'll post a little bit in my daily blog, but it's gonna be its own video because it's teaching us hand balancing and uh, I hooked them up with this cool shirt. Um, but I'll tell you where I'm going. Um, you know my pre-workout scooper? Yeah, I got your pre scooper. So, I have the recovery formula here somewhere. Your well, friend 444 four, four, Active. 444 yeah, four, four, right? Active. Yeah, so. yeah, 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 I've seen it. So it's here's rampage. Rich Pianas. And if you look at the scooper, see how big that is? Yeah. You're not gonna be able to pour it on the water bottle. So I was like, I, mean, I have a pre-workout scooper, but I can't scoop um, a scoop this big. So I'm like, pre-workout funnel 
necklace. Oh, so, that's good thinking, dude. That's where I'm going the right funnel. now. funnel. You put it in the water and you, you just, just dump it all in there. That makes so much more sense. Or, doesn't and, it? Yeah. Damn, and um, this guy, he's going to a hand balancing. Yeah, I'm going to take a school. class right up the street here. It's going to be nice. You know what I mean? I'm going to yeah. work, train maybe four or five hours, stretch, do all that good stuff. You know, teaching Drew today was very fun. I had a great time mm -hmm. doing it. And uh, I'm basically teaching him what people are yeah, teaching nice me. And tall. Yeah, nice and tall, pretty much, is what we learned today for that handstand. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I, I know you guys are going to love it. Um, and, um, man, I was just, it's always great working Dude, out with friends. It was great. So. Yeah, I know, man. I appreciate it. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, oh. So we were going to post it right now, but I got to go, man. I got actives waiting, the pre workouts waiting. Um, you got your pre-workout, right? It's at my house. Okay. That was pretty fun, right? Yeah, I was great. I like that it only took two hours, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good, man. So I'm glad that it wasn't like all sync all day. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this is we're basically showing you like what is possible to do in a day. You can work out twice. You can train three times. Um, you could eat, you could do anything you want, and we're showing you it's possible. Right Whatever now. you set your mind to, all those exactly. limited beliefs, that's all fake. What exactly. People told you. It's not real. Mm -hmm. Do what you do and love what you do. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later, Drew. All right, man. Take care, see brother. Look at this professional parking job. Boom. All right, I just made it. I'm gonna meet with Active and get the new pre-workout necklace. I'm stoked. So this guy right here, 444 Active, my new, it's a super set, next one. Look at these, oh yeah. Woo! Dedicated, he's got the chest popping out. Yes. Oh, I like this one right here. That's dope.
that. If I had some pre-workout right here. <laughs> Ten, eleven, probably twelve. So triceps, a little 
the throat of the bicep.
keep your trunk low, and you pull it. Pull it all the way right here. Yeah, so it's like, reach far back. Yeah, it's like that. It's, uh, we're getting pulled. Get it, get it. Alright, last one standing wins. Man, it's got strong right here. I got the lighter weight. <laughs> well, good workout, bro. Yeah. Always good workout yeah. to see you. And uh, if you guys need any custom pre workout scoopers, funnels, barbells, I'm going to tag him right now. And uh, 444 active. All right, guys, so I just had a dope workout with active. He hooked me up with my pre workout funnel. Um, so now I can use my pre-workout scooper and funnel in my water bottle. I, it might be a little overboard, but that's just how I am. And I like doing stuff like that. And he's even going to give me a little transformer custom thing for my recovery formula too. Um, but I left my wallet at my house again and I am so hungry. I, I don't know why I kept doing it. So. I'm gonna have to time this out right. So I'm gonna get home at 11 p.m. and I can order Uber Eats on my phone. So I'm gonna order food and I think this place closed at 11. So I know the Uber Eats driver don't really like to wait too long around. Um, so I'm gonna have to time this out right and hopefully it works. But I'm gonna order Uber Eats as I'm driving home because I forgot my wallet and uh, I should probably set up my credit cards on my phone I know there's some places that do that I don't know how to you know, I've never done it. I just have credit cards or whatever but we're gonna order I don't know we'll see usually I order um, what do I order uh, like with this wing stop and uh, this burger place I usually get wings and a burger we'll see what I get but I should probably get both my hands on this wheel right now as I'm driving. And I'll show you where I am right now. I am. I am in Glendale. Now I'm about to get on the 134. So I'm about eight minutes from home. I ordered Uber Eats. The guy's literally picking up my food right now. 
Um, I gotta turn this later. It's crazy bumps over here. So he's gonna be at my house at the same time. Woo! I'm getting there. So I am excited and usually I'm not this excited to get home because I just want to go to sleep. I'm excited now. So I get the Alright, so I just got here. And I'm waiting for the Uber driver. I think he's almost here. Let's see. Uh, how do I track this? Track. He's here. It says he's turning here right now. I think I see him. Thank you. I went in completely wrong direction. I know, next time, take Slauson. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see ya. <laughs> Bye. Alright, thank you. God bless you. That guy is the best. So I got my Uber. Uh... Okay, so I just got back to my house and uh, I have both my ACs on. And you know, I like it. I like it cold. So. That's just how I like it. Um, it's a little, little too cold. The titanium scooper falls off when I take my uh, shirt off. Um, but let me show you what I got here. I got a burger. Delivered right when I got home, so it's like, let me uh, wash my hands and say grace real quick and I'll take a bite. Alright, thank you God for this day, Drew's day. Thank you for this food. Thank you for my pre-workout uh, funnel. <laughs> uh, thank you for Active, uh, Mike all my followers and uh just thank you lord so got a burger has my name on it everything i love this place In the kitchen. <laughs> and what else did I get? Hot wings, baby. So I'm not going to show you eating this whole thing, even though I know you want to watch. So somehow I got the Asian sesame seed and I ordered uh, Red Hot Ranch, but I'm not complaining because the guy literally delivered, because that place closes, oh man, that place closes at uh, 11, when he got here it was 11.10. <clears throat> All right. Uh, 
Mm. I can't tell you how good this is. You can only see. But it, it is good. I got a little dirt on me in the workout. Um, I'm at like 215 right now, so I'm at, a good, I'm at a good weight. I'm at a strong weight. Mm. 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 finish this but that's my day so um, if you guys have long days too and you get home it's you know 11.05 p.m. you know you leave the house at 9 10 a.m. and you get home at uh, 11 p.m. that's a that's a long day you know so I know some of you guys are pulling those, so. Uh, you got, well, like three workouts in today, which is good. Oh, man. And I'm doing three meals a day. But I gotta edit this video before I fall asleep, because I'm not falling asleep right now. I was up till one last night ending yet science video, so um, each day is gonna keep getting better, longer, more intense, so let's let's go on this ride together. How did you take it when you took the first scoop? How how did you take it when you first took two scoop? How how did you take it? I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta catch a plane. I gotta go. See ya, that's it, that's the show, that's my CD bro I gotta go, I gotta catch a plane, I gotta go